Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to talk to you a little while this afternoon about uh, expansion of the adult arch. Uh, this lady has a terrific uh, crossbite with the teeth, and it's created a def deformity of the upper arch. So watch what happens as you straighten the teeth out and we use the large big daddy arch wire to straighten that out with very little uh, expansion in it. Uh, here, uh, let me get see if I can get this uh, lady over to it. Here is the uh, young lady. Now this is an adult uh, arch. She's uh, probably in her uh, 30s or something like that. I don't have it exactly the uh, age here. Uh, but this is the crossbite that she has that has affected her smile and everything all of her life up to this point. Uh, and we want to come in there and correct that. And it's got a facial balance. Everything is good. Looking at it from all different angles. But here is the crossbite, and uh, the upper lateral looks like in cuspid, or uh, way in a crossbite, which pushes the palate back in too. So the other side of the mouth looks like it's good, it's in a class one relation. And so we'll take a look at the palate, and you can see that the palate is flattened out on the side of this deal. You see the curvature of the palate here and how it kind of straightens out and goes back like that. And this has affected the facial structure to some extent, but not a great deal, but uh, really messes up her smile uh, terribly. And so the, the young uh, lady wants to do something about this and we we'll, we can expand and move these teeth out and this will bring this part of the palate out with it as you move that uh, around. You can watch this happen. I'm going to run through several slides here. The lower arch is kicked off a little bit because of the uh, cross bite. It's uh, deformed too, uh, so it'll, it'll correct that. The upper has got a little crowded, the anterior crossbite, and some other problems in here. Now, we started off with a, a flexible wire in here, just a regular uh, twisted wire that's real flexible, and put it in there and s to see what it would do. It would line up the rest of the teeth and everything, but it did not jump the bite. So we go through the flexible wire, and you can see the deformity still there. The crossbite, this wire didn't have enough power in it to correct the uh, crossbite. And here we come in with an 018 round stainless steel wire, and it, uh, we try to get it to jump the bite, but it doesn't either. So you can see the crossbite is still there. Uh, it might have been if we had put a bite plate in there to start with, it would have, could have possibly jumped this bite without the, putting this large arch wire in. So here's the 018 arch now uh, in there, but it, it didn't uh, do much to the cross bite. It's still there. The uh, lady chews and bites right into that spot and it didn't uh, help it. So you can look at the palette with it, and it's still the deformed shape to the palette and the teeth. Now we'll go ahead and, and come in here. We put a palatal uh, bite plate in that opens the bite and brings the, these teeth up over this bite here so that when she bites and she'll have to eat with this thing, and keep them pushing these back every time. And now we're hoping that this wire would bring it across, but it's still 
uh, did not have enough force to actually bring the teeth over the hump, as you would say. So we've got a bite plate in there opening the bite that frees up the teeth that they can move over now without this the occlusion pushing them back. So here we tie a large arch wire in there. You can see it piggybacked over the top of the other arch wires and we had very little expansion in it. Uh, we'll show that uh, later on here. Uh, it had very, very little expansion. But uh, this wire has a lot of lateral force and it pushes one side of the, the mouth. Now, we're going to push one side out, but the other side is correct. Now, I don't know whether I use it in this particular case, but a lot of times when you're trying to do a unilateral expansion, it's best to come in and put some elastics in. Like on this side of the mouth, you, you'd uh, come from the uh, top to the bottom with it with the elastic from the inside out to the outside of this with a rubber band I can't draw back in there and on the, the other side you come from the inside to the outside pulling this in with elastics and pulling this out with the elastics and that's the way you make a unilateral uh, expansion of the arch with, with this. So yeah, the way you use elastic, but I don't show this, but I show it in several other videos, you can see that. All right, here we uh, see this is uh, free to work. Now we tied these with a long tie in here, and it is put, it's playing this group of teeth over here against these teeth on this side. And this is where you could use the rubber bands that come in like that, and uh, and these teeth here, you'd want to go from the inside, see the the lingual side to the buckle, and here from the lingual side to the buckle again, uh, and both these elastics are pulling the teeth in this direction, and that's going to be a unilateral cross back, because the Big Daddy Arch, you've got the same force going this way as you have going the other direction. So this just shows you how it, it'll do that. If it was a mild uh, movement, it won't uh, do much about it. Now here we had a palatal separator, I mean a, a palatal, uh, it's kind of a retainer-like thing with a bite plate on it here and actually I think some of these teeth touch too back in the back side of that. In other words, it kept it open where the occlusion wouldn't stop it from jumping. So here we get this out, and then we put this in, and now you see the teeth have jumped over the arch in here on both sides. And we only had this large wire in there about two months' time. I think of a little note in here, and it corrected that whole palatal thing. And she could chew back over and get it on the other side. Now you look at the uh, palatal shape, and it's pretty well even all the way around, simply by bringing these teeth out and correcting the root structure and everything on them. You've actually changed the shape of the palate in, in doing that. Uh, and there's where it was when we started, and there's where it is now. And down on the, that's the palate, uh, just showing the lower arch too, and we've expanded it a little, but not a great deal. This just for the big arch wire. Now the Big Daddy had, uh, was a very little act activation in it. Actually, we tied it in, it would be back about along here somewhere. So that give you some idea about the uh, activation of it. And in two months time, we had that 
frostbite corrected. And so hopefully you'll get some idea about using this wire. Now if uh, here we finish the case up now with a that's a round wire just going in and going in and finishing the case. And there's where it was when it started and there's where it went to. So I hope you get something from this and I'll quit right here and hope you'll join us and uh, we appreciate you watching and and join our deal and subscribe to our panel and hope that uh, you'll be able to correct anything like that. So thanks for watching and I'm gonna close up here and say goodbye for the time being.